Let me know where you're watching this from. I'm gonna read some of the uh, some of the Instagram live comments. So I see a D underscore Niners is in Mexico. Welcome to you. Uh, Matt Chesco is in Montreal, Canada. I see So Classy, Sacramento, California. Precious in Cali, India. That's, uh, let's see, London is with us. Stockton, California. Uh, but over here, where are you tuning in from? I see Iowa. Uh, Elizabeth Ginsta, hello to you. And uh, I see Switzerland joining us. I see Australia. You are all watching from around the world. Welcome, and also a quick hello to Michael Lopez on YouTube. Yes, RIP Martin Luther King Jr. We are gonna be honoring Martin Luther King Jr. with a portrait today. So uh, usually I don't like to give it away, but you know what, when we're honoring someone, let's just, let's just take the mystery out of it and let's just enjoy the creative process as their legacy, you know, sort of unfolds on canvas. Uh, Iris Mayer, hello to you. You're on Facebook, welcome. And uh, also Afsa.h, you're in India, welcome to you. So it's been a while since we did a live stream. I think it's been about a month. So it's nice to get back, um, back into things. We, I've been painting in the studio just nonstop. I just haven't gone live. Uh, La Ra Ach, or Ach, I'm not really sure how to pronounce that. Hello to you, you are on Facebook, welcome. All right, let's not waste any time and let's get into this live stream. All right, welcome to Our Life Live. My name is David Garibaldi. And uh, before we get into today's live stream, just want to let you know we're going to be honoring the life and legacy of Martin Luther King Jr. through paint and color on canvas. Uh, let's go. To, let's just go straight to the pre-painting scene. There we go. The, the Look at that. Who is this? We're not actually drawing. Windows. There we go. All right, we're just gonna skip that because uh, we're gonna be doing some paint wars later on in the year. We'll get to that. But either way, welcome to Art Life Live. It's 2021, and uh, it's been about a month since we've done a live stream. So I want to thank you all for tuning in, watching this on YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, Periscope, and also we have Instagram coming along for the ride. Uh, Shannon Hamilton, hello to you and the family. Sending love to you in Toronto. Uh, thank you again to the Hamiltons. Just, you know, they're actually collectors of mine and uh, thank you for the support, just really for the past couple years. Appreciate it. Uh, let's see some of the comments on, so uh, Scotsman on Instagram Live said, please can you do an MF Doom tribute painting? For sure. So. I, I grew up listening to underground hip hop. MF Doom was one of those artists that I listened to early on, especially when I was doing graffiti. So we're not gonna do it today, but definitely next week or one of the next uh, Art Life live streams, we'll definitely honor MF Doom. So thank you for that comment. And uh, let me know what else, you know, what other uh, questions you have in the chat. Amanda Balderrama, hello to you as well, welcome. All right, I'm just curious, does anyone still do uh, New Year's resolutions? Is, is that still a thing or have we just like, really just grasped the fact that there's no point to it? It's just, our, our lives will reflect our habits. It's not always just about, you know, what we decide to do, just, you know, new year, new me. I, I don't really believe in that. I just feel like it's uh, same habits, same life. And it's gonna be either new habits, either new life, I think that should be the perspective going into uh, 2021. So, uh, Iris Mayer sending love from the Netherlands. You're watching on Facebook. And Lara Arach, I don't know how to, let's put it on the screen. I don't know how to pronounce this, but they said they're from Forsheim. So uh, where is Forsheim? Can you let me know what country that's in? I would love to know. And uh, I also, I see Dublin. Tuning in on Instagram, uh, Instagram Live. I see Indonesia as well, Sacramento. Awesome, thank you guys for joining. All right, let's not waste any time and let's get into this live stream. Let's paint.
All right, welcome back everybody. This is Art Life Live. My name is David Garibaldi. We're live in my studio in Sacramento, California. And we do these live streams. We normally do them every Thursday and Friday, but we're just kicking off the new year with this, uh, our first live stream of 2021. So as you can hear, we've got the music playing. You can hear me. And throughout this process, all that I ask is that you uh, ask questions, share what's on your mind. Let me know what you think about the painting. And also if you have any questions, Ask them below if you're a creator, an artist, any advice I can give while I'm creating, I'm happy to do that as well. Uh, also, we're gonna keep it positive today. Uh, anything negative, we're just gonna take out of the chat. Uh, but with that said, let's create our first live stream painting in 2021, honoring Martin Luther King Jr. Let's do this. Let me kick this towel out of the way. Let's paint. So those of you that were on this journey with us in 2020, a little backstory. Uh, normally, we're doing about 100 shows a year around the world. And as a pandemic hit, one, I took a little breather, a little break, but we also had to get to work immediately. You know, we, um, we started getting creative about how we can still create and still share this process with all of you around the world while keeping everyone safe at the same time. And it led us to doing these live streams, these uh, moments where we get to share the creative process together. And um, you know, it's grown over the past really nine to 10 months now. It's crazy to think about that. But um, throughout this process as I'm painting, feel free to ask your questions and also I'll share about this process. So right now, I'm adding what I call, actually what most artists call the underpainting, and also this undertone. So this undertone is a color that I want to really shine through and show through after I add all the colors on top. Now you can choose any color that you want. Um, I, I like to use cool colors. You could say that's just part of my style or my, my brand of painting. Uh, it de depends on your subject as well. Uh, the cool colors are usually chosen because of the, um, the mood of, of the subject. If there was someone that was, you know, more alive and moving, I would add warm colors to add more life. But for this one, we're just going with the cool colors. Add some blue now to this mix. Thank you everybody for joining today on this live stream. It's been nice to have a little break. Uh, I, I needed a break after the, just the chaotic last year we all had and we're still all in it. A lot of you are still going through it. So I hope this is like a, a positive escape from whatever you have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. That's all I hope from this. There's not really any rhyme or reason to the, the, this paint process or like, or even the, the colors that I'm choosing. It's, it's really just getting some of the uh, proportion marks down so I can build from here. And also, it's just a creative process. You know, sometimes I'll have a plan, but there's a lot of things that happen in the moment that I either didn't decide or just let the creativity speak on your behalf. So any questions at all, feel free to ask. All right, someone just asked, have I ever thought about painting the band Extreme? I don't think I have until now. Uh, maybe you'll have to send some photos of the band to inspire me. Let's get some pink. But thanks for the question, appreciate you asking.
So all these colors that I'm adding, again, I'm gonna be adding a layer on top of all this, but uh, I want all these colors to sort of shine through later on as we're left with the final image. It's almost like a color blocking sketch. You know, you, nothing, there's not really any parameter you have to stick to, but the color blocking just gives you an idea of what's to come, as you can see. So someone said, how do I get the likeness of a person without a reference? And there's multiple things that I do to prepare for this process. And part of it is either studying or I just, you know, I have my preparation that I do. That's the best way I can describe it. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, drawing will always help you in any situation you're in. And this isn't really about painting this as a trick without a reference. It's just the years of studying uh, faces and figures that help make this process quicker. But again, I have to do my homework still. You can't escape the homework. I've also painted this thing like, I don't know, I, I think it's safe to say hundreds of times throughout the years. Someone said or asked, have I ever taken art classes? And yes, in high, like elementary school and high school is when I started really getting more serious about art. And so I had some amazing Turn that off. So I had some amazing teachers that, uh, you know, guided me in my high school and elementary years, but I didn't go to college. So because I didn't go to college, I just went straight into my career in art when I was 20 years old, and I just never really looked back. But my learning still continues. I'm, you could, you know, any given day I'm on YouTube watching artists, learning. Uh, there's always so much to learn, so never, ever, ever stop that process. All right, let's get a little bit more messy with this. All right, someone asked, how's my day going? It's going amazing, thank you. It actually, it, it's kind of nice to just get back into the live streaming, which really, to me, means sharing the creative process with you. That's why I do this, uh, and again, it, it's going great now because I'm getting covered in this stuff. This is probably my, one of my favorite tools to paint with. It's just, you can't help but be free with this. So let's go back here, get a little bit more. Wipe that off. I'm gonna go, my paint's drying up. I definitely need to make a trip to get some more paint. All right, someone asks, what mediums do I start off with? And this is really just black canvas and latex paint. That's it. There's not really anything else that I need in this process. I mean, some wine later on would be nice, but I do want to focus on the painting. So we'll wait for the wine. Is, is that a, can that be an official medium, wine? So someone asked, do I already have the colors picked out or do I pick the colors out at random? And I have a color palette that I choose from that I can really create anything from. So part of the preparation that uh, I was talking about earlier, when Soa says, you know, do you just go up there and, and do it? Part of the preparation is preparing the material. So making sure that you, I have all the colors uh, laid out, I know where they are, I've studied and remember where they are so in a moment, in an instant, I can go and grab them super quick. Preparation will always make you, uh, will, will help you in your moments of creativity because 
it takes the thinking out of where you're getting your materials and you can focus on what you want to create. So prepare as much as possible so that you can create quicker and easier in the moment. Again, we're celebrating Dr. King today with a portrait. I've done this portrait countless, countless times and it never ever gets old, but every time it's a little different. Like today, the colors are just a little, a little different. And that's what's fun about this process is you never know what color is gonna come next. These are just built up one layer at a time, one color. By the way, you know what was the best part about taking a break from the studio? Was being able to just be inspired. So, um, you know, when I'm in here working it, uh, I'm, I'm in the moment. So I don't get a lot of time to step back and, and just be inspired, but just spending time with my kids, my family, um, I got that, that rest that I needed, but also it made some space for my creativity. And I got to see some, just a lot more amazing artists on Instagram, which there are so many of and so many um, amazing styles out there. By the way, if you guys, one of my favorite artists uh, that I really got to know more of his work over time, but check out Chuck Styles with an extra S on the end. One of my favorites, and my son loves his uh, basketball paintings as well, so. Really dope artist. Just gonna get that excess paint off, go back to the white. Let's just get some more highlights in here. So someone asked, what techniques do I use? And I don't really know how to answer that besides, it's a mixture of figure drawing, portrait, portrait painting, portrait drawing, and then um, I think even just the technique of movement and, and dance throughout this process. Let's block off the silhouette of the head so we have some proportion marked off and then we can get a little bit crazier with the colors we add and you see it coming to life. Again, keep asking those questions down below in the chat and I'll do my best to answer those while I'm creating. Yeah, let's go back over here, sorry. I feel like I just spun around about three times. All right, stitch those. Let's start with a little bit of gray for the eyes and then we'll add some white to it as we build up. And I'll bring you closer near the end of this painting so you can see all these colors, how they build up. All right, someone asked, how did I find my passion for art? And it, I've just been creative since a, a young kid. Um, it's just something that I've always done and never stopped. Luckily, I have very encouraging parents that either put me in the art classes that I need to to encourage me or my teachers that you know, brought out the creativity that was in me, but it's just a mixture of a life of very supportive people mixed with just how I've always been wired to be, which is, is to just create. And I, I honestly believe that in a major capacity, we're all born to create. And unfortunately, a lot of us get discouraged by people even in our lives that um, it's because it's not a viable career for all that they steer you away from creating when creating doesn't have to be a career it can just be an outlet for so many other things all right let's wash up let's go back to this this messy thing actually you know what let's not Let's do something with this. Dip this in gold. This is 
a, a new tool I discovered last year. Just create some really cool texture. Let's just keep playing with this. You know, these live streams are also sort of like a creative workout as well. I get to try these techniques that I normally can't share, like, I normally can't try when I'm doing commission paintings or other virtual performances, but in here I get to enjoy the process. So someone asked, do I only do this style on big canvases? And I would say for the most part, yes. It's just not as fun to do it smaller. You know, it's not as, it doesn't have the same energy when it's smaller because this is a reflection of body movement rather than just hand and wrist movement. So look at that, that's just like mixing all those colors down here, it's just pulling them up, mixing them up top. I'm gonna do the same thing here just because I thought it was cool over there, so we'll see. There we go. Still got that rim of color around. And uh, speaking of, let's have some fun with some of this spray paint. So really accentuate that silhouette. We're just gonna highlight it just around the rim. And then also we can come back with the black. Because you do need the shadow to separate it from the other colors. So. That's a great question. So someone said, if I wasn't doing art as a profession, what else would I be doing? And to be honest with you, I'd probably be teaching art. If I couldn't do it as a profession, I would love to teach it. And even now, going into this new year, I want to find new ways that I can share and teach. So it's still sort of in line with creating because I think I don't think that it's something that I can escape. It's just something that I love. So I would be teaching. Let's get some more of these colors over here. We're gonna balance this painting out with the splatter. So the splatter is not only fun, but it helps create balance on the painting. When a painting feels like it's either heavy on one side, I can splatter some paint to draw the, the direction of the eye of the viewer to the other side as well. So just different techniques that we can use. Oh man, can we, there we go. Thank you. Yeah. Just gonna add some styling elements. Get some uh, black and do that as well. Where's my black hat? It's been a while since I was uh, painting and flowing in here, so I'm uh, forgetting where some of the paint is. throw some more paint around. Let's get some more black on this canvas. All right, let's end this off with a handprint. Here we go. Oh, my mic just came off. All right. So take one last look at this Martin Luther King Jr. painting 
and then uh, we'll have a one quick chat before we log off. Yep. Put it back on. So go up really, really close. Let's, uh, I want you to see the colors, the texture, the lines, just everything that makes up, thank you, everything that makes up this portrait and this painting. Also, those of you watching, thank you so much for watching this live stream. We're gonna be doing these every Thursday and Friday going into the new year as much as we can. But follow me on Instagram at Garibaldi Arts for just every daily update. Best way to support these lives always is to hit the share button. Share this live stream in a DM, share it on your page. Any way that you share helps support these live streams as we, as we go. All right, take one last look and then uh, let's wrap up the live stream. All right, you come back over here at Instagram Live. All right, welcome back everybody uh, again. Thank you for watching this live stream. Let's just take one last look at that Martin Luther King Jr. painting on, uh, we're live on YouTube, Facebook, uh, Twitch, and Periscope. Thank you again all for watching this, but really today is about celebrating the life and legacy of Martin Luther King Jr. And uh, we just celebrate the people that we love and admire through uh, color on canvas. All right, and those of you watching on Instagram, uh, thank you all again. So someone was asking on Instagram, it was uh, Taki Pak asked, what paint do I use? So I'm just using uh, Bare Ultra Premium House Paint. That's all it is. Uh, but I have specific colors and a color palette that helps me create anything from those, uh, those colors. So uh, also, yeah, just let me know. Let's see, I'm gonna read through some of the questions real quick. All right, so someone asked too, um, everything from Wood asked, uh, what do you do with all the paintings? So what we do is we take photos of them, we archive them, and then we either sell them to collectors or offer them to collectors, or they just go into an archive, we save them. We also donate a ton of paintings to charities. So just a quick little highlight, uh, we've helped raise over $6 million over the past uh, 18 years for various charities, and we don't plan on stopping anytime soon. Even last year during the pandemic, we were doing our part to uh, donate paintings and also just raise money for causes that really needed the funds. So we sell them, we donate them, or we save them. All right, we are gonna lap up, wrap up this live stream. Thank you all for watching. You, again, follow me on the day-to-day -day post on my Instagram, at Garibaldi Arts. And uh, thank you, Jolie Lozano, for watching. Uh, Iris Mayer, uh, let's see. Kidam, Kidam, thank you to you. Uh, Sniper Blood on Twitch, hello to you. And High Dreams said, one day I'll collab with David Garibaldi. Let's go up right there, yep. You know what, anything is possible in this world and uh, if your name is High Dreams, I hope you make that come true. So, all right guys, happy 2021. Wishing you a happy, uh, healthy and safe 2021. And I can't wait to keep creating more and more for you as the year goes on. But this was our first live stream for the new year. Thank you all, peace.